to pee. Look, the line is short over there. There's a long line in the bathroom here. Just go for it. For all the rookies out there, if you're ever worried that you're not going to be able to hold it, don't try. But before we get to ladies' night, why well, waste precious tanks when they can pick us off from the air like fish in a barrel? There are 400,000 men on this beach. Taking the number one spot this week is Christopher Nolan's critically acclaimed Dunkirk, bringing in an estimated $50.5 million in its first week out. That's a much better opening than anyone expected. It's actually the third best opening for a World War II movie ever. Who the hell are you? The first of many. Right behind Captain America the First Avenger and 2001's Pearl Harbor. With such an extensive list of World War II films, it can sometimes be hard to get people excited for yet another movie about fighting Nazis. It's just a matter of time before they face surrender or annihilation. But luckily for Dunkirk, Christopher Nolan was in the director's chair, and he's about as big a star as you're gonna find behind the camera lens. More importantly though, he delivers. Dunkirk carried a 92% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes during its opening weekend, and has managed to get some Oscar buzz in the process. And with that, on to number two. This weekend is all about the plot of Posse. We're gonna be staying up late, making memories that we can laugh about the rest of our lives because that is what a girl's trip is for. Also beating expectations this weekend is Girl's Trip, bringing in an impressive $30 million in its first week out. As far as adult comedies go, this is the first successful debut of the summer. Baywatch, Snatched, and The House all tanked in their domestic openings. There's gonna be so many hot Miami babes, we are gonna be swimming in girl. Hi, Alice. <laughs> Rough Night barely broke even at the box office, and it's practically the same movie. The big difference? Rough Night is terrible, and Girls Trip isn't. Aside from the all-star cast, this film also has a staple of black cinema behind the camera. Director Malcolm D. Lee is responsible for some of the most popular black films to date. Marriage is gonna curb that appetite for more women. In what world? <laughs> Chief among them, The Best Man, one of my personal favorite movies of all time. But enough about me, on to number three. Dropping one slot this weekend and barely holding off War for the Planet of the Apes is Spider-Man Homecoming bringing in an estimated $22 million in its third week out. As for next week, Theron, Charlize Theron. I chose this life, and someday, it's going to get me killed. But not today. 